In this video, I'm going to briefly show you how you can change a slider, either adding slides or editing slides that might already be on your website. In the first instance, we look at a home page and we see that there is actually a slider on the home page. And you can slide through it just to see how it works. To make changes to this, you're simply going to go into your dashboard, find Revolution Slider, and once you get it open, it will list all of the sliders you have available. If you're not sure which one, if you did not name it home page or internal page or something uh, more easily recognizable, you do have a preview button here that will allow you to preview the slides and that would allow you to identify which slideshow is which. In this case, our home page is slider one and internal pages are slide two. So I'm gonna come into slider one and here we can either change the settings for the entire slideshow or just edit slides. Today I'm just going to talk about editing slides. You're going to click on edit slide button and that's going to load up a list of all the slides that are in that slideshow. So I want to edit the first one, or I can delete it, or I can duplicate it, or I can copy it or move it to another space. So in this case, we're just going to edit it. So when I click edit, here is slide one. Here are the other three slides. You don't have to go back to the previous screen if you don't care to. And so here are the slides. And if you wanted to name, uh, by default, they're all just named slide, but if you want to give them a handy name, you can. And then if you ever want to hide a slide, you can just call it unpublished. Um, so you can also schedule slides to show up only on a certain day. So maybe you're having a sale and you want to go ahead and add a sale that goes through a certain date. You can add the visible from and visible until. The transition is how it moves from space to space, and there's plenty to choose from. You can look through all of them and play with them to figure out which one you want. In this case, we're using random. And then the slot amount. This is actually, if you're using something where it turns into boxes, it, it you know cuts itself up, this is how many slots, so in this case, seven. You can change that number to see what it'll do. You can also rotate slides in, and you can decide how long it takes for the transition to happen. The lower the number, the faster it's going to come in. You can also delay the slide. Uh, and, and over here on the right, it does give you your default settings to tell you what you can and can't do. And you can do this for each slide. If you want to do this for the entire presentation, you would do it in the slide settings, not in the actual slide itself. Now, most of what you need is going to be down here towards the bottom. So when we actually get down to this section, you'll see here's, here's a copy of your slide. Here's the slide that has some elements to it. So first and foremost, there's a background image, or you can make it transparent or a solid color. I don't recommend using an external URL because if the URL changes, you now won't know what's going to be on your slide. You can also take that background and change how it fits. Um, you can play with these settings to see how they affect the slide. And then the Ken Burns is when a picture looks like it's moving, uh, you can turn that on to see how that would look. So once you get down here, the, the real important thing to see is that down here at the bottom, it will show you if I select something on the slide, it's going to show me which layer it is. Now the picture is a background. You cannot change a background. You can't move it. Uh, you can't do anything to it. If you want to have that capability, I recommend you create a transparent slide and then you insert this image as an image instead of a background. So this is an image as well. And when you want to add another layer, so for example, I can add a layer. When you add a layer, it's typically going to be text. So I'm going to go ahead and just add a layer. And up here, notice it put the layer on there. I'm going to move it down here so we can see it in the settings at the same time. So down here, it added the layer. Down on the layer's general parameters, I can come in here and put something. So maybe we just say it's a Labor Day Sale. 
And then when I click back over here, notice it's changed it to Labor Day Sale. I can also change the style of that text. And when I change the style, notice now it, it actually put a fun style on there. Again, you would have to go through all these styles to see what they do. Now, that's how we add text to the page. Once we add that layer, so here's the layer over here, I can choose when it comes in. So the first image, which is this one up here, comes in at 500 milliseconds, and it ends at 9,000. If I want this one to come in after, I would change this setting to come in at a later time, so a fraction of a second later, it starts. And then on that particular layer, I can also come down here and say, okay, how does it animate, or does it animate at all? So I can tell it, it can fade in, it can come from the left, come from the right. What type of animation does it do? How does it do it? How long does it do it, or how long does it take to do it? and some delays and things like that. You can also choose to have something come in and go out. This would be the end transition. So it comes in, it goes out. And then you can tell it to loop if you wanted to, if I wanted the transition to happen over and over. And you can do that for every single layer you have on the slider. And then finally, you have some advanced parameters. Unless you have a little bit of experience, I would leave these alone until you have more experience. So that's how you put on a text layer. Now, if you want to add an image layer, notice you can add layer image. And when you do that, it's going to ask you for what image. So in this case, we're just going to, for fun, put just uh, something on there. And again, most of the time it puts it towards the top, so you got to go up there to find it. So here's the image it just added. And again, I can come down here and maybe say I want it to come in at 1,500 milliseconds instead. You can also name these layers if you choose to for ease of recognition, um, and you would do that under its properties. So once you get them in here, uh, and notice you can also add a video, you can select a layer and duplicate it, all sorts of things. One of the things people get confused about is that they don't know how to delete it. So if you want to delete something, you highlight it, and you choose delete layer. If you ever click delete all layers, it takes everything off, but would not take off the background because the background is done separately. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete these layers. And that is how you actually change a slide.